So our approach um, as architects and with our projects is um, it's about a conversation really between architect and client and very much ideas coming from a conversation, testing ideas, testing any preconceived ideas um, to try and form a, a narrative that holds all of you know, the idea and the brief together. Our aspirations for the house I guess were to have a house that grew with us so that whatever we needed it to do fit around our life as we were living it. There wasn't a room that was kind of fixed in stone so we could move around the space and it would adapt to what we needed it to be at the time. The inspiration of the project came from sort of three main sort of principal drivers, particularly for the extension of the back here, um, which were about a cloistered space, so whether that's a sort of monastic cloistered space, um, but a sort of protected external space in the centre of a large building. Um, the second was about this 17th century Dutch or Flemish courtyard paintings, um, and that very much kind of sets our route through to, to the garden, particularly from the front of the house. And thirdly, it was the East Asian courtyard, formal courtyard arrangement, courtyard houses, um, and just having that outdoor space again in the centre of a larger space um, that you can sort of open and close, but still be defended from the busyness of the street and the city beyond. The materials that we used for the extension were very much about paring back, the um, making it sure it's not too busy. Um, we used Oroco timber for the windows, the joinery, the fixed joinery, um, a resin floor um, that just had a continuous seamless floor all the way through, um, and the walls, you know, sim seeing the faceted ceiling, just simple folds, but sitting back behind, really, we wanted to sit as a backdrop to family life and being able to be inhabited by the family. My favourite room is um, this one, is the extension. And I think it's always astonishing when you open the doors into it and the light floods in. And every time I do it, whether it's in the winter and it's dark outside and it looks like a jewel box with all the glass, or whether it's in the summer and it's flooded with light, it's just a very unusual and awe-inspiring space.